it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be talking about perfumes. This is something that I don't normally talk about but I thought it would be fun. And in the comments below before you leave let me know a few of your favorite perfumes that you would recommend. Maybe something that's your signature scent or whatever. Let me know in the comments. would love to hear from you. And by the way, if you are new here, would love to have you join. I share makeup, skincare, and fashion. If that's something that interests you, please make sure you click that subscribe button and also make sure you click that notification bell too because I don't want you to miss out on any of my content. I'm getting close to 40, 40K here. Let's do this. We can do it together. One of these is not a perfume, but we're going to show it. So I don't have a lot of perfumes. I don't. I know. I see some people and it's like, oh my goodness, you have a lot of perfume. Um, I don't have that many perfumes. I have some that I really, really enjoy. And I think, I feel like I, oh no, I have all of them. <laughs> I thought there was one that I missed. But there, you know, I've, I've gone through different scents over the years. I used to love Obsession from, is it Calvin Klein? Oh girl, I used to love that one. I don't know if they make it anymore. The one in the little egg-shaped bottle. Oh, I used to love that. Paris from YSL. That was another one that I loved. Let's get into the ones I like now. So this one, mm, I love. Now, the thing about perfumes, it's not the scents aren't for everybody. Sometimes you have to know your body chemistry. But these are my favorites. So this one is very... This is probably the most I've ever spent in a perfume because this is actual perfume and not... A de toilette. This is perfume. I bought this on my 25th wedding anniversary and this is it's a J'adore and it is the Lore Essence oh my god Parfum. That's what it says. So I don't know if that means it's all perfume if this but this is this is not the A de toilette this is perfume. I love the smell of this. This to me smells like money. You're so you're so money and you don't even know it. That's what I keep trying to tell you. So could you not mess with me right now? <laughs> and I don't have any of it. But I feel like when I wear this, I feel like I have money. I feel like I have money when I wear this. You know? Do you ever see the movie Swingers? You look like money. This is money. This perfume is money. It has a little bit of a it's florally. It's florally. I just love it. You don't want to go crazy with this. You don't want to be. You gotta. You gotta go easy on this. Um, so I've been married 31 years, and it just shows you how long it's taken me to get down <laughs> to the bottom because I've had this for a while. But I love this. I love the bottle. I don't even know if I want to ever get rid of it because it's for my 25th wedding anniversary. You know what I mean? But it smells amazing. It is heavy. But even in Florida here, I feel like I'd wear it in the summertime too. I would. I just, you just don't want to, you want to spray this and walk in it. You put this all over. I mean, this scent is with you all day. The scent ain't going nowhere. You put it on, you smell it all day. Love it. This is another special one because this one I got, this one I got at Epcot, by the way, in France. And this one I got at Epcot in France too. So this one is the Miss Dior Absolute Blooming you guys, I've got to show you something special about it. Can you see what it says? I'm trying to move the liquid so you can see it. I'll probably have to tell you what it says because I don't know if you see it. So I bought this in France in Epcot when we moved down here in 2018. And it says dreams come true on it. And they actually engraved this in the perfume shop in France. They, I don't know if they still do it anymore, but hopefully eventually they will again. Such a brilliant idea because when you're on vacation even it's like a nice little memento to bring home so i will never get rid of this i will never get rid of this bottle even when the perfume's gone i'm going to keep this but it smells wonderful i can get this open it has a little bow on the front it's very florally it's a little bit sweet too it's got sweet notes in it which i like but it's just really pretty and fresh and I just, oh, I just, I love Dior perfumes. I really, really do. It just smells wonderful. Again, you smell like money when you wear it. And I like that. Okay, the other one. Now, this is another one. We're, we're doing Disney. This is another one from Epcot. 
and this is the smell of Norway. So this is the Layla perfume. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. Every time I wear this, I get compliments that people like, you smell amazing. It's not a really strong smell. And I feel like after I wear it, I feel like I can't smell it, but people smell it on me. It's weird, but it's so pretty. It just smells like, it just smells like beautiful flowers, like a field of flowers, but not, I've just it just smells amazing but it's not overwhelming you can wear this in the summer you can wear it in the winter very beautiful I just love 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 this perfume bottle is nothing fancy or anything like that but the scent smells amazing and I believe he created this for his mom because his mom wanted a perfume and she just wanted just something to wear all the time kind of a perfume I believe it smells wonderful. This is from same. Yes, get Gear Ness. This is from Gear Ness. This is from Gear Ness. I hope I'm saying that right. This is the frozen in a bottle. Is what it's called. I'm getting low. The one thing about mine is the cap didn't work on mine. It never closes right. I don't know why it just never closed right. So you never. I never want to lift it up like that or bye bye perfume. That smells so pretty. I just love. The scent of it, it's different than this one. It's floral, but it has a touch of sweetness in it. Just a touch of sweetness in it. Really, really a pretty one. I love the color of the bottle. I never keep my bottles out though. I keep my, I keep my perfumes in a cabinet out of the sun and everything like that. So I don't have them sitting, sitting out anywhere, but this is another one that's really, really beautiful. And one thing I like, when you, you can order these online, and I will leave links below for you guys. But if you do go to Epcot in the future, um, you can, they have sets that you can buy. So you can get the perfume, you can get a body lotion, and then usually there's a bag that you get with it. So it's kind of nice. It's like you're better off getting the whole set because it's like you're getting, you're getting the uh, perfume at a discounted price when you do it that way. I don't know, but love these i don't think i have i don't know if there's a cap for this i can't remember i don't like the way that this, this is kind of falling maybe that's how they make it though so it looks like it's old but it's from replica and this is called sunday morning it just smells oh it just smells so it has like a fresh scent to it you know what i mean it's fresh and i'll tell you what it says on here it says Lazy Sunday morning. It says um, Florence 2003 is the province and period. Description is soft skin and bed linen. It says female fragrance on it. It just smells so. It just, oh my gosh, I just love the smell of this. I haven't worn this one in a while because I have my favorites. I've been doing Layla mostly lately, but I love this one. Packaging is really, really minimalistic. Now, there was one called Lipstick or something that everybody liked. Ugh. I did not like the scent of that. I tried it in the store and I was like, no. But there's one called Beach or something like that. Oh, I want to get that one. I'm going to use this one up first, though, before I get it. But that's one I like to get, too. This smells amazing. and This scent will last on me all day. And I can smell it. So you don't want to go crazy with this one. That, was, that one smells amazing. Now this is a little bit different. This is actually a hair spray perfumer, not a hairspray. This is a hair perfume. I am not a smoker, so I don't know if people at smoke use this. I don't know if it would help with that. For a while I was washing my hair with apple cider vinegar because I was having some scalp issues. And girl, that vinegar does not get out of your hair. That smell of vinegar, ooh girl, it does not get out of your hair. Vinegar actually makes your hair really soft, like really soft, but you just constantly have that vinegar smell and it is not a good smell. So I bought this and this is from Taka, T-O-C-C-A. It's a hair fragrance. This one's called Cleopatra. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells, it smells so wonderful. So you just spray it on your hair, not too much, because you'll smell it and it, your hair just smells so pretty. 
It really does. It, it's not like strong or anything like that. I don't use this every day. You can see I was using it more often when I had my my um, vinegar issue. Um, you know what? I should try this when I cook out on the grill. If I've already taken a shower, I should try this and see if it helps get rid of that stinky grill smell. That's what I should do. But I really, really, really love this. It smells so wonderful. I love this scent. It just makes me, it's like one of those scents that makes you happy. That's what that is. It's happiness in a jar. This is not a perfume, but I love this. Now, if you don't like the bum bum cream, then you're gonna hate this. But this smells exactly like the bum bum cream. And just like the bum bum cream, I don't use this all the time because I like, I like it to last a long time because it's kind of expensive, but I love it. And this is the Brazilian Crush uh, body spray. It smells wonderful. It smells like vacation. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of this. It's like, I'm trying to see what it smells like. It's like, I kind of florally and kind of beachy. A little bit of sweetness. It just smells like heaven. It really does. It just smells wonderful. Um, it's not like a perfume where the scent stays on you for a long time, but it just smells wonderful. It's a nice thing to spray on after you get out of the shower. It smells wonderful, girl. So those are my perfume fragrances, my body sprays. If you have any body sprays that you love, hair fragrance, or any perfumes that you want to share with us, please leave it in the comments below. would love to hear what your favorites are as well. I will leave everything that I talked about in the description. So if you want to check them out, you can follow me on, I thought I had to fix my shirt there. You can follow me on Instagram, even my jewelry that I'm wearing, jewelry, I will put in it. I'll put it in the description. My friend makes jewelry. So, oh God, I love this one. That's like one of my favorites. The thing about her jewelry is this, it sells fast. Her pieces sell really fast. So if there's something that you see, you have to get it because I don't know how many she's going to make and she's going to get more or whatever. I don't know. But, oh my gosh, I love this. Is that pretty? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's a little crystal. And then my earrings, I love them. They're light earrings, so they're not heavy on my ear. I just love all of her pieces. So I will leave a link to these if they're still available, even if they're not, I'll leave a link to her shop below so you can check it out. And you can follow me on Instagram and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. And I bought this on my 50th wedding anniversary, not 50th, 50th, <laughs> my 25th. Boy, I'm rushing it. Okay. Um. Oh God, what's the name of that store? If I remember, I'll put it up here because mom is having a menopause moment. <laughs>